Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. Here are the news in details. Nagpur City Congress Committee Block No. 5 demonstrated at Chakradharnagar Square near Sanjuba School on Thursday. Girish Pandav, Secretary Maharashtra Pradesh Congress Committee, Sanjay Mahakalkar, Corporator were prominently present on this occasion. In his address, Girish Pandav said that the government should scrap the agricultural bills which were against the interest of farmers. Sanjay Mahakalkar added that the union government was completely working to promote corporate houses and completely against the protecting the common man. Slogans like Kisano Ke Sanman Me Congress Party Maidan Me Modi Sarkar Host Me were raised by the protesters. This occasion also present were Praveen Agre, President City Congress Sevadal, Vishnu Ahirkar, Vasudev Dhoke and Ashok Yavale, both former corporators Prakash Fuke, Sangeeta Purikar, Rajesh Belkhode, Vina Belge, Nilish Khorgade and workers of Congress Sevadal, Youth Congress and Mahila Congress were present in a large numbers. An 80-year-old woman was knocked dead by a rashly driven car near Sikadara Lake on Wednesday evening. The disease has been identified as Pushpa Nathuji Bangale, a resident of Sikadara Lake. Around 6 p.m. on Wednesday, Pushpa was sitting near the lake. Around the same time, a recklessly driven car hit her from behind. The impact was so forceful and tremendous that Pushpa was seriously injured and soon afterwards died on the spot. The accused driver of the car fled the spot immediately, fearing the wrath of the public. Sakkadara Police Sub-Inspector Masuram, on the basis of a complaint lodged by Dilip Nathuji Bangale, booked the unidentified accused car driver under the relevant Section 279-304A of the Indian Penal Code, read with Section 134-177-184 of the Motor Vehicle Act and are searching for the accused. The Nagpur Zonal Unit of Directorate General of GST Intelligence has arrested yet another businessman in its series of a crackdown against fake input tax credit ITC claims. Fake credit to the tune of Rs 49.19 crore is alleged to have been claimed in this case. The DGG's STI sleuth had came across a firm taking up contract jobs across the country only on paper. Transactions were hundreds of crore were recorded in such manner, said a press release issued in Nagpur City. After a series of searches conducted by DGGI Sleuth, the director of this firm was traced in Raipur and arrested. His bail plea has been rejected and person concerned has been remanded to judicial custody. As part of the ongoing drive against fake invoices and non existent entities, DGGI Nagpur Zone Unit is initiating a cracking down. The central government has decided to import large quantities of soybean from other countries and has significantly reduced import duty. As a result, farmers in Maharashtra do not get a fair price for their soybean produce. It was discussed in the cabinet meeting that if the central raises the import tax, the price of soybean will be better for the farmers of Maharashtra. Home Minister Anil Deshmukh informed that the state will demand an increase in the import tax. In the past, Soybean was fetching Rs 4,200 quintal, but center decided to import large quantity of soybean. Not only that, the tax levied on soybean import is also discounted. Thus, the price of soybean in the state has come down to Rs 3,800 per quintal. If the center raises the import tax, it will be benefit for the farmers in Maharashtra, added Anil Deshmukh. The Nagpur Unit of Aam Admi Party on Thursday held a protest against the recently enacted farm laws at Samvidhan Square. A delegation of the party also submitted a memorandum to district collector demanding that the three laws be taken back and a new law be brought to guarantee MSP to the farmers for their produce. The party firmly supported the farmers' organization staging protest at the border since the past eight days. During the protest at Samvidhan Square, they have opposed the anti-farm laws. There is no other way. Bring a new law to guarantee MSP on all a farmers' crop, said the party. The Aam Admi Party said it held demonstration across Maharashtra and submitted memorandum to the collectors. If the farm laws are not taken back, the party will intensify its agitation against the central government. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more news updates, please stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.